tell me. I hear you. Is it you? Is it you? I hear you. Hi there, Freedom One, HearingGod.tv. Uh, this is a weekly prayer, kind of every other weekly prayer for the summer. Um, I'm going to just thank you for joining. Um, for those of you that uh, are, are fr frequent watchers, um, you know that I, I posted that I had really bad reception. The reception on the internet stuff was so bad that I couldn't even open a Google Hangouts without being kicked out. So, um, you know, something we're working on. Technical stuff is always is something to keep up on. So um, continue to pray about that, that we are able to find out all the things that we need to do on our end uh, so that we can continue with the, the live prayer thing. Um, so anyhow, let's just uh, uh, enter into his presence. And, and by the way, um, HearingGod.ProBoards, it's a forum, kind of a community thing going on. And basically anyone that posts anything there or anyone that contacts, you know, ministry uh, for prayer requests or whatever, um, I'll, I'll try and post them on there or we'll just pray for them corporately here. And that's what the, the live prayer is about. So um, just so you know, um, uh, HearingGod.ProBoards.com. Okay, check it out sometime. So we just thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, and we just uh, ask for your hand upon this time here. We thank you, Lord God, that though I'm not able to fellowship live uh, with those that, that are asking for prayer and those that are joining in for prayer, I thank you, Lord, that you break down all those barriers and that you your hand transcends. I thank you, Lord God, that as our prayers go up, they, they rise up to you, and they are, they are timeless as well. I thank you, Lord God, that uh, just like as some of the scriptures were fulfilled um, in the Old Testament, how they're coming to pass again. Uh, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you make all things new. We just turn ourselves over to you, Lord God, and and just all that you have for us. I just ask that you would just um, conform us to your image, Lord Jesus, that you would just bridle uh, our tongues. Help me, Lord God, to only do what you're doing, Lord Jesus, during this time. And uh, open me, open my my all my senses to hear uh, whatever it is that uh, will help uh whoever's out there <laughs> that wants to listen. I thank you, Lord Jesus, and I just ask uh, for your hand here, and I thank you for your promises that you are here. Thank you, Lord God. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We just welcome you here during this time. I thank and praise you, Jesus. Thank and praise you, Lord. Yeah, so it's kind of awkward. I'm starting to get some emails in from people that are normally watching this. And so I'm going to have to upload this later, but um, it's kind of interesting, you know. I, I get to read stuff as you all, you all are, are messaging me, so um, I will still um, be going back and forth here. This is from Warriors uh, Youth Group said that uh, Maria had a stomach a stomach ache on Friday and wanted to be sent home uh, from school. Um, and then uh, Warrior's wife saw her later on, and all of a sudden she's all smiles. Well, here, her friend Anna from that, that youth group had prayed for her, and she got better. <laughs> So isn't that cool? Um, that is awesome, awesome testimony. And that's why the youth are such a testimonial to the world because they get so excited about all that they learn and all that they know. And so um, that's an awesome share. Um, 
I just want to say, uh, praise the Lord, um, having money come in, uh, surprise money, <laughs> money we didn't expect. So um, I just thank the Lord. Um, he's so awesome. Um, let's see what other prayers I got. Um, okay, this, this is a huge one. Um, very huge. Uh, I did a video during a prayer session a while back. I, I told you all I had a, a dream, I believe I had a dream. Um, I, ha I haven't actually watched my video to see what all I said. It's been a while. But anyhow, it was impressed on me that the Lord was showing me that I needed to pray for people with Crohn's disease. And so, um, I did. And let me look at my video here. So I can look up some of the stuff. Basically, Crohn's disease, it causes inflammation of the lining of your digestive tract. Um, so basically, it works hard on a on a immune system and if the immune sy system rather whether it be hereditary or whatever is malfunctioning then your immune system effectively works against you kind of thing so okay yeah I check in my video I had a vivid dream and where I was praying over a person in need of healing from this disease and so what I did is I I multiplied just this little snippet of that prayer and uh, I post, I published it. Um, I I did those the prayer session um, like Christmas, like Christmas Eve of uh, 2012, and then I was able to get this snippet up on December 26th, and so. Um, then I, I got a comment from someone uh, where they had a 12-year-old daughter um, who's been decimated by Crohn's, okay? And basically, um, it's, it's like kind of stunted her growth. You know, it's gone on for so long. She's only like 4'7", and she was down to 45 pounds, such a debilitating thing so anyhow um, what I, I was sharing is uh, Jim happened to send me uh, this book a more excellent way to be in health by Henry W. Wright and basically you know it's along the same lines of things I was already you know the Lord was already already showing me and it's nice to see it you know confirmed elsewhere but basically, a deliverance ministry that kind of noticed a pattern of people having physical issues, diseases and ailments and, and the like, would, would have a common deliverance session, um, common spiritual problems as being the root to these issues. And so I did consult this book. And I gave some suggestions, and she began to, you know, work and pray with her daughter. Um, now, it was like five months ago when uh, this video was posted, and all this time she, she just came back um, to share with me. Um, I'll read what she wrote. It's so exciting, okay? <laughs> Alyssa is completely... Healed. No sign of Crohn's symptoms for three months now. So I posted this like five months ago. So it only took like two months. And, and she remembered to come back and say and share this wonderful thing. Because you all prayed for her too. <sighs> so effectively, you know, when you all were praying about this Crohn's thing, you're part of this um, this miracle um, says we did address some lies and anger issues there's so much more to the story um, she was down to 45 pounds and now she's up to 73 that's such a huge turnaround 
um, she's starting to grow again um, because she said that she was only four seven and her her growth was stunted, but now she's starting to grow again. So um, she says, "Thank you so much for your prayer and instructive and and encouraging words." So let's shed a tear. <laughs> That's some really awesome stuff. Um, you know, a mom. You know, not understanding. She just seeking everywhere. She wants to help her daughter so so much. And I just want to encourage any of you out there. Um, this right here is a testimony of what multiplication can do. To put it out there, if the Lord has you pray for something, and it's not even there. You don't understand, but you put it out there. Your words are not returning void, and so this is just a an awesome testimonial of how um, I decided to, you know, take this seriously. That yes, the Lord does speak to me. <laughs> I'm I'm a believer, <laughs> and so when He showed me in this dream, uh, you know, and and not too long ago, I I had a deliverance over um, a spirit of death and dying. Again, the Lord showed me in a dream. Uh, so. We need to be about only doing what we see the Father doing. And it's like whatever He's showing us, whatever He's telling us, just don't sweep it under the rug. If He gives you a dream, learn about dream interpretation. Um, do your due diligence uh, because it's, it's testimonials like this that just rock the planet, okay? So, yay for Alyssa. Praise God. You're so awesome. You're so awesome, Lord. Um, let me think. Okay, I do have, um, I always have to remember to go to the praise section on uh, the hearinggod.proboards.com. Uh, and J. Mark wrote, um, he had asked for prayer for a friend named Najili. Uh, and you know, I, I think it had been going on for a while. But anyhow, uh, the Lord has been opening up all these avenues for him. Uh, and so uh, he was able to pray with her. She came to a place where she would receive. And uh, she she received. She became a believer. And uh, so just uh, praise the Lord for, for that awesome testimonial. Um Share, people share. This is so encouraging for all of us. Okay, Warrior shares that um, three of the, the youth that he knows uh, through his group, um, they're in a worship group. Uh, and uh, tied in with a Russian event. And, and basically, uh, he went to this event and basically, the Russian-speaking churches had got together. They had guest speakers and translators into English. And they were basically evangelizing the English. <laughs> you know? And it's like, you, you think of uh, people going out and evangelizing, uh, you know, tribal peoples or whatever. But no, I mean, isn't it true? We need... To be, you know, our modern society is just gone from that state to overboard, uh, you know, uh, to where I, I shared with them, I said, can they come to America next? <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, awesome uh, evangelism. So uh, that's a that's an awesome testimonial there. Some of the, the exciting praises. Um, happy to uh, read those off, especially that Crohn's disease. Doesn't that give you chills? <laughs> it's just so. I had to read it several times. I just couldn't believe. It's just so wow. Yay. All right, let's get into some prayer. All right. And speaking of uh, praying for evangelists, 
Um, I would like to pray for Fred and Sherry. Um, they they do ministry everywhere and, and whatnot, and I don't I don't really know them. I don't, but the Lord keeps giving me dreams of them, and I just had another uh, not too many days ago. Um, so I don't know what the Lord is is doing there, but let's pray for Fred and Sherry. They are actually going to be ministering in Mexico if they are not right now already. I can't remember their timetable. They said in a couple weeks, but that was how many days ago. So let's just pray um, as they are... Um, you know, reaching out in ministry uh, for, um, let's just pray for them. Lord God, I just thank and praise you for the ministers of your gospel, for Fred and Sherry. I just ask that you would just bless them and anoint them and appoint them for these purposes, Lord God, that you would uh, reroute them and arrange them. I thank you, Lord God, for no accidents, no coincidences. I thank you, Lord God, that you have proper placement for them. I thank you, Lord God, that you anoint their hands. To baptize, to heal, and to deliver, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that these are serving hands. Bless them as they serve your people. Lord God, Rebecca, bless them in strength and endurance to keep up with you, Jesus. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, that they can keep up. They can do all things through you who are their strength. Thank you, Lord God. Just bless them in all that they do, Lord Jesus. And whatever it is that you're, you know, connecting before I even know them, <laughs> I just trust in you, Lord. I know that you're going to do it. So, praise you, Jesus. Let's pray. Uh, there are those of you, uh, we've been led to pray this for for a while now. Um, but, you know, we, have, we all have our placement where the Lord would have us be for the events to come. Uh, for the many things that are on the horizon. So, um... Some of you, you do need to move, and those circumstances could be the Lord bottlenecking you into something. He's been trying to move you, trying to move you, and you wouldn't move, so now you got to move, and it, it hurts a little. Could be that. Um, you know, there's a lot of attack going. Um, we know people are lose, losing uh, a lot for the sake of the gospel. Um, you know, witchcraft abounds, and... There's just such a, a wall of resistance uh, because our prayers are are worth silencing, right? Um, so um, let's pray uh, for anyone out there that needs to move. Uh, maybe you need provision in your move um, as well, um, and and that's the thing. You may you you know you need to move at, or you have to move, and you just can't see that way. Um, but let's just pray for that surprise uh, provision to come in uh, all in, in his nick of time. So, Lord God, we just thank and praise you for uh, all that you're doing, Lord God, to reposition us for our end-time ministries. I thank and praise you, Lord God, that you have a place. You have, uh, you have people with, with hearts that have not grown cold, that need our witness. And it's in a specific place, a specific time, and we need to be there. So, Lord God, we just align ourselves with your perfect will and your perfect truth. And we just give your Holy Spirit permission to open doors that need open and shut doors that need shut. Lord God, in all things, we commit to serve you and to accept uh, your way. For us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We just extend ourselves out in complete faith and trust. Despite anything that we see. Despite anything we know or anything anyone tells us. We are going to believe on you and you alone. I thank you, Lord God. 
I thank you, Lord God. We receive your divine provision, for it all belongs to you, Lord Jesus. I ask, Lord God, that you would help us to know what to hold on to and what to keep. Direct our paths, Lord Jesus. Show us all things. We just ask for those those places to open up, those doors to open up, and the obedience to walk through them. Praise you, Jesus. We also ask, Lord Jesus, that uh, any loose ends, loose ends like the sale of properties, um, sale of items, and anything to facilitate what you are doing, Lord God, that you make it easy, that it not be a big detriment, Lord Jesus, but you turn it all around for the good. I thank you, Lord God, that that if there's those that need to sell things so that they can move forward, that those uh, that you would send the right people, the people that want this, that need this, and that you have allotted, you have planned for it, Lord God. Rebecca, we bind up the enemy that they may think clearly for themselves. Open up our our uh, minds so that we can see with their eyes that if we need to attend to details to uh, make a thing better so that it will sell, that uh, we would not be so proud, but that we would put ourselves in other people's shoes and, and a lot uh, for, for presenting the best because that's what we are, people of excellence. So I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Open those things, shut those doors, and sell those things that need sold, Lord God. We just trust in you. We trust in you. We trust in your timing. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. All right. Uh, let's praise the Lord. Leslie says, I'm being assisted by a deliverance group at church tomorrow. So that would be Sunday evening. Uh, I'm looking forward to stirring the Holy Spirit and for freedom. So she's asking prayer for breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Rebecca, and she's been going through the, the house cleaning stuff. Um, thank you, Lord Jesus, showing her. Helping her to know what those, what those issues are so that when she goes through with this deliverance stuff that she can really be there to help to share her weaknesses and everything so that this deliverance stuff can really fly. So I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for Leslie. I thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. She will follow through. She will follow through first with herself, and then she's going to go out and help deliver others. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank and praise you, Lord God. I just ask that uh, every, every stone be turned, that there be no place for the enemy to hide. And she desires your purity and to be holy and to be filled with your spirit to kick the enemy out. I thank you, Lord God, for that earnest desire that she has. I thank you, Lord God, that no good thing be withhold, withheld from her. I thank you, Lord God, that in all these places that the enemy has held her, that they shall turn around and be her strength. Thank you, Jesus. Just ask your, your blessing upon her. Also ask your your blessing upon all those that minister deliverance. That they may administer it with your love. Grant them discernment, Lord Jesus, that they may see everything clearly. And no access points onto them as well. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, and another prayer request. This is with many people. Um, because, mind you, the enemy wants to destroy relationships. It's very, very difficult. Um, the enemy gets in there in little places. He wants us to point the finger at others. He wants us to attack others, whether this be with your kids or um, your mate. Um, the enemy really wants to destroy um you know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, there's the, that perfect union that the Lord presents to us of, of that unity that He desires for us. Um, and so uh, marriage is that, a picture of it. It isn't, it is no, by no means, <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I can call it a mirror of it, uh, because what the Lord has is, is so special. But, um, yeah. Uh, so, one thing I want to share. Um, I did do an article on the blog. Um, you know, a person had a question. Is being in a relationship with someone before marriage okay? And so, I kind of started flowing in the Holy Spirit, and then I said, well, I'm going to have to multiply this for the, because it just, it speaks to so many people. Um, so I, I spoke about many things, and watching out for various traps and whatever, you know, encourage you to go there, but I can say that I was led to edit it, um, I think just this past week, maybe, because, um, there, there's another area because we're we're talking about people, you know, wanting to have relationships, people looking down the road and thinking I want marriage and not wanting to screw up and stuff. But some of you maybe have screwed up. Um, and the area I want to talk about um, is raiding the cookie jar. Um, if you go to the article, I have. I have a section down there called Raving the Cookie Jar, which I'd like to share. And uh, it just goes along the whole thing of how our hearts are wickedly deceitful. We align with carnal man and what carnal man wants. And we are very easy to twist scripture, to justify things, uh, to make it fit with carnal man. And we're so good at it. Um, but... It, there, the, the, every penny must be paid for, okay? And um, let me let me just read this, and you'll kind of get where I'm going with it. Um, never, I repeat, never pledge a covenant to make having sex, okay? I can't tell you how many ruined relationships I, I come across because of this. And earlier in the article, I had shared... Uh, scripture from Luke 11 no one after lighting a lamp puts it away in a cellar nor under a basket but on the lampstand so that those who enter may see the light you know he doesn't want us to be a person of guile uh, you know double minded uh, he, he wants us to you know be real so I, I used that scripture earlier. Um, when we're talking about being with someone, we need to make the commitment public. You, you need to make it a celebration because that's what it is. And then enjoy the perks. And this is where people get into problem because they say, oh, you know, oh, they make a secret covenant of, oh, we're going to get married. So you're going to start enjoying the perks of marriage before. But that's how the enemy can get in there to ruin relationship. Okay? So basically, if you, if you do that or if you've done that, basically it's like you have your cookie dough, right? And you go and raid all the chocolate chips out of the cookie dough before you bake it. 
And I mean, you can eat a cookie like that. If you think of a sugar cookie, chocolate chip, you know, is really awesome. Okay, you take all the chocolate chips out, and then it's kind of mediocre, you know. So you kind of wreck the cookie. So I just want to encourage anyone out there, if you did screw it up, because you know, it's pelting in TV, everywhere, movies, like it's normal. Like, oh, you know, you can't control yourself. You know, that's why we got to give you birth control. And, you know, you, you can't. Well, I'm sorry. Yes, you can. You just need to align with God's truth. <laughs> so we just have to know Satan has a doorway wherever there's sin. Even if you have had premarital sex and then get married, you still have to break the evil soul ties. Uh, anytime, you know, you do this little secret thing and because, as if, oh, we're going to get married anyway, uh-uh, you've already opened a door because all sin's the same. Sin, you're handed over, okay? So you really have to back up, you know, the whole way, you still have to go back and break the evil soul ties that entered in the moment that you turned from the truth, okay? Um, it doesn't matter that you're going to make it all right down the road, okay? Um, they just, they don't magically right themselves, and it will plague your relationship. If you do get married, it'll plague your marriage until you confess the sin and make it right in Christ Jesus, okay? So I just wanted to share that a little bit, um, you know, not pointing fingers to anybody because there's so many people um, dealing with this and, you know, like going back and forth with the with counsel thing and stuff, you know, and I can tell you that that when I was speaking with this one person, that it's the Lord that brought this up. Uh, nothing I knew, you know, I'm just trying to, to help a person who really wants to seek after God, wants everything to be right, and they fell in this area, and then they wonder why. And the Lord had to reveal it because they wouldn't reveal it, okay? Um, and that's a part of kind of like, you know, when the Lord shares stuff, it's not so fun, you know, because sometimes you, you don't want people to know your junk, okay? But sometimes the Lord has to share with others because you won't. Um, or you, you've believed a lie and, and you won't admit, you won't confess. So I just wanted to, um, to share that uh, little thing about relationships. And, you know, I've got... Um, you know, I can find the uh, links about soul ties. I got videos and prayers that you can say. If you've done this, um, don't beat yourself up about it. Just ax it and go forward in victory. Um, you know, this isn't a, a condemnation thing. All right, and uh, Leslie would like prayer, um, you know, at her home for her business. Uh, also you know, just warfare with, you know, some family members that are, that are in bondage to sins, um, and, and that's really hard. Um, I can, I can share that, uh, I had a, you know, extended family member, um, you know, and you just know when it's the enemy that latches on and then they lash out at you. And they pretty much just hung up the phone on me because they didn't they didn't get what they were wanting from me, you know. And that really hurts. But at the same time, to be able to see it for what it is, um, it's a spirit um, latching on to a person. And, and I just want to share, um, you know, since I have been talking about this A More Excellent Way to Be in Health book, um, you know, when I'm traveling for work, I'll, I'll read. And here is a very um, good, beefy, short statement that will really make sense um, to a lot of people. You know, especially you've been really trying to purify yourself and 
to seek holiness and you keep falling in areas and it's just like really hard. Well, it says here, if, if a person has fasted, prayed, cried out to God and done everything they could to get rid of a sin, but they keep doing it, they need deliverance. Because it is no longer just a temptation, it is an evil spirit. And so, you know, I wish we could say that there's a mathematical way to figure out, well, when have we bridged the gap? When have, when have we crossed that line to where you stumble a little bit, but then you repent and you're able to cross back over and shut that door, and then... You know, you do it again, and, you know, when does that door open? And then the enemy gets in there and takes up residence. And then, you know, we can remember the laments of Paul, for I do the things I hate. Um, you know, he's kind of a precursor of the whole, you know, deliverance thing. Um, you know, the, the rest of the the ones that were in the presence of Jesus, but Paul's kind of like the first one that, uh, you know, he wasn't hanging out there with Jesus, but then the Lord started with him. And so it really kind of is, you know, it's like we can feel ourselves kind of being drawn to the words of Paul because we can understand, we can empathize with with these um, this war um, because we want to be holy. And so, um, you know, that's why I encourage people with the spiritual house cleaning so much because, um, you know, as you, it just forces you to be real and to go through all of your issues. And as you're crying out to the Lord, he'll begin to show you, well, if, if it is something that you need deliverance with, so um, everything can be shut. And you can move on victoriously. So I just want to share that, um, you know, and, and just the whole thing with, you know, unsaved family or whatever. Um, it, it's, it's difficult. I'm with you on that. <laughs> but knowing that they don't have that understanding, they just think it's themselves their whole life. And, you know, it's hard because, you know, if there's a lot of pride involved, if you try and tell them, then they'll be like, ah, oh, you're nuts and blah, blah, blah. But what can you do but just love them and pray for them? So let's pray for uh, family members um, and friends uh, that are lost. Um, oh, Lord God, we just submit them into your hands, Lord Jesus. Lord God, Rebecca, we are not their Savior. You are the Savior, Lord Jesus. And we just thank you, Lord God. We thank you for your word that says, One day, every eye shall see. Every, everyone will know and everyone confess that you are Lord. And Lord God, we are just pleading with you that they have that revelation before judgment. So, Lord God, we just ask you to send forth people in their, in their paths, uh, literature, music, whatever means, Lord God. We just ask that you would just open up your storehouse of revelation over those that we love. And we just ask that you would just uh, bring them. Uh, the prayers of your righteous avail much. And so, Lord God, we just agree with you. Most Holy Spirit for salvation for those whom we love. Amen. So, um, so back to Leslie. Um, for home and business. So we just pray. You know, anyone out there, um, you know, with with business stuff, um, we we'll just we we'll just pray a business blessing. <laughs> Thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that in whatever we do, we prosper. We cling to that word, Lord Jesus. We just ask that you would just help us 
to be a generous people, sensitive people to the needs of others. I thank you, Lord God, that we, we are different. We are set apart, and we do not just work the daily grind, but we work it with honor because we're actually working for you. I thank you, Lord God, for our, our witness is powerful. In all that we do, we, we work in excellence. We just ask, Lord Jesus, for blessing upon all that we do, that you would just bless our hands, bless everything that about us that con has that con connection with the work that we do, that we are blessed. We receive, Lord Jesus, promotion, first spiritually, spiritual promotion. We thank you, Lord God, that we are your sons and daughters in whom you are well pleased, and birthed from that are good fruit in, in the workplace, that uh, we would be honored, that uh, through, through our character and through our godly living, that even if we do not even so much as say your holy name, Jesus, that the witness of who we are, the respectability of who we are, speaks so loudly that when others come to a place of desperation or of need, that we are there, to then present your gospel. I thank you, Lord God. Thank you for that high honor that you've bestowed upon us, Lord God, in the business world. I thank you, Lord Jesus. And we receive that provision, that provision, that honor, and that promotion, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Being a teen to the Alright, let's pray uh, for Carla. Hardened heart, um, drinking addiction. Lord Jesus, I just ask that you would just shower down. I thank you, Lord God, the prayers of the righteous. We cling to that promise, Lord God. We cling to it. We just ask that you would just reach out to this one. And to any of those that have that uh, addiction uh, with alcohol or substance abuse, Lord God. That it not operate in our presence. For we are a, a people that bears the most powerful name in all the universe. That every knee... Every tongue shall confess, every knee bow. And I thank you, Lord God, that a spirit of addiction have no place, have no place whatsoever to be exalted in our presence. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, that just by our very presence, that uh, addiction loses its grip, loses its hold, and that uh, your, your kingdom uh, message goes straight to their heart. I thank you, Lord God. I just ask your blessing upon all right, and um, Misty uh, has suffered a lot of abuse. Uh, born again, thank you, Jesus, and is is receiving blessing by God. Um, but falling back on old habits and fears. So, Lord God, I just ask your hand upon Missy, upon her, and uh, for the revelation that uh, we are not enslaved under bondage to a spirit of fear, that fear is a spirit, and that uh, your perfect love casts out all fear. So, Lord God, I just ask that you would just shower her, Rebecca, in your word, and may she devour your word with such hunger, Rebecca, that uh, your truth root out every fear in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, and Brandon has epilepsy, acute asthma, and allergies, and... Um, 
Leslie, I let you look all that stuff up. I just really feel uh, an impression that um, you know once you get on top with the the deliverance stuff, that this is going to really you know be a powerhouse for you to really clean uh, your your own house. So um, we just prophetically speak forth and agree with you even now uh, that when that time comes um, I thank you Jesus that it goes forth epilepsy you have no place no place in Brandon in the mighty name of Jesus and we agree with our sister Leslie and we declare epilepsy bound in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. You have no place. Hands off. Hands off. We speak to his mind, to the neurons. Neurotransmitters. We speak life. We speak life. And we root the enemy out. No place whatsoever in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak to the asthma and the allergies. We root you out in the mighty name of Jesus. There's no place. No place. Holy Spirit just ask that you would just flood him. Praise Jesus. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Um, prayer request by J. Mark uh, for a old one of his teachers he had named Liz. Um, Kind of, you know, he's he's being led into a kind of a mentorship role. Um, people are coming, and he's able to direct them, and you know, not in that religious ease way, but uh, from a point of just really uh, being excellent, the excellent dude. <laughs> so, I just thank you, Lord God, for her hunger, and that she's reaching out, and that the. the uh, J. Mark is able to to be there uh, to minister. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that um, he's approachable and that you just continue to uh, just bless him with discernment, discerning of spirits, Lord God. So that he will be able to give the word or materials needed, that dire needed stuff that will cut right to the heart of what these people can uh, empathize with, that they that they will know that they know that you are God. Amen. All right. Ginger has been called to do a woman's study at church. Um, so she's moving into an intercessory role. That's awesome. I thank you, Lord God, that you equip Ginger, that she lacks in, in no way. Even when she doesn't know or she's not sure. I thank you, Lord God, that she has that confidence uh, to just stick with what she knows. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Jesus, that we don't have to know it all. I thank you, Lord God, that we can we can be the peasants and to sit at your feet and just trust you, that you will take care of it. I thank you, Lord God, that you feed us. You feed us in word and truth, in provision in all things. I thank you, Lord God, that you give Ginger everything that she needs right when she needs it, even before she knows she needs it. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Your anointing just to flood over her and uh, to expand her giftings, her talents, the things that you have blessed her 
to be able to bless others. I thank you, Lord God, that as she steps out in that in that right placement and where she's supposed to be, that uh, your glory just flood. Uh, thank you, Lord God. Give her every confidence. All right. Um, okay, Warrior's brother-in-law passed away. Um, as you recall, we had prayed uh, for him the last, you know, what, two weeks ago. Um, he had a, asked a prayer request regarding him having a numb sensation in his arm and not knowing what it was. Well, I'm sure it was probably a heart attack. Um, so... Um, we just ask, Lord God, that you would just uh, shower this entire family uh, with your peace, Lord God, with your peace. Eric, who enjoyed life, and he wouldn't slow down. He wouldn't slow down, Lord. Then he have that perfect joy and peace in you right now, Lord God. We just thank you that you would just... Continue to reiterate that to his family, that they may uh, look look upon him, and and not be at a complete loss, but to just feel that satisfaction of knowing of who he's with, with you, and in that perfect peace. So I just ask your blessing upon them, Lord God. Uh, heal them, and and uh, we just declare no grief. Uh, grief, but for a moment, but then joy everlasting. Amen. All right. Being made a cheap can a book at 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 I'm not going to list the amounts or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But, um, uh, he's going to, he'll do it. He'll do it. He just, he needs, he needs people that he can, uh, invest in. <laughs> people that are good investments. And I thank you, Lord God, that you've, uh, blessed Build the Farm. Uh, with an eternal perspective and he knows it's all yours Lord God and he knows how to pray and he knows what money can do and that it's a tool and not an idol so I ask the Lord God just align with his prayers uh, for, for provision in uh, all things that he has uh, set his hand to the plow regarding and also for um, for this uh, YouTuber that he's also standing with for provision to come. So I just thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. I also ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just bless um, Build the Farm's uh, family in all that they're doing that uh, that you would just order their steps that you would ignite that fire with him, Lord God. And he would continue to uh, bring forth uh, complete uh, deliverance and, uh, in everything with uh, his boys as well. Just uh, continue to just lavish that discernment of spirits upon him. Lord Jesus. All right. Um, chocolate chip. Um, just a lot going on. Uh, very, very difficult times. Um, and we we prayed for we've prayed for provision, for a proper placement, for places to sell. Um, she's actually needing to move. And it's kind of hard because you look around and you see expensive prices everywhere. You look at the budget, they're not lining up. And so this is where we just call out to God. And we're not going to believe 
uh, what we see, but we're going to believe in who holds all things. Who he is, Jesus is the bank. And so, despite what carnal man is saying, what everyone is saying, what it all looks like in the natural, thank you, Lord God, that you have the perfect place and you have the perfect budget. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, for your hand upon her and her son. I ask for your hand upon them in alignment for all that is going to happen, that you would make it abundantly clear, whether it's to the right or to the left. And I just call forth those open doors those open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Those opportunities. Also speak for restoration in relationships as well. For that eternal perspective, seeing it for what it is and uh, in all things clinging. Uh, to uh, his promises and truth in everything, in love, in love, clinging it in love. Lord God, we just ask that you would just open up this way, that you would open up this way for a provision regarding housing. We speak that forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. Um, uh, Chocolate Chip also says, um, just discovered that her mother has metas. Me- <laughs> all right. Metastatic <laughs> cancer in her lung. Isn't metastasized kind of? I don't know. I, I'm having a hard problem saying this. Metastatic. All right, whatever it is, uh, cancer in her lung. So, um, she, her mother has had cancer in the past, and was able to get over it. Um, she is elderly, um, but we don't care. We don't care what age. We we speak life, right? So, Lord God, we just speak forth your hand upon chocolate chips mother we don't agree with uh, the enemy that kills steals and destroys but we agree with your life and your abundant life at that we just uh, speak uh, against this cancer. For where you want to metastasize, Jesus is far stronger. So we just speak to you and we command you to stop. In the name of Jesus, stop. We bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. We place you beneath the footstool for judgment. We speak forth uh, lung function and, and healthy tissue to move in in the mighty name of Jesus. Swelling in that uh, Speak that down in the name of Jesus. Well, when I was praying, I saw kind of look like um, nasty cauliflower. But when I was praying that it stopped, it's like I could see it and it had uh, cuffs around it. Um... So, we just agree with with that uh, stopping that that forward motion of this dastardly thing. 
In the name of Jesus, maybe she can open it. All right. Also, want to pray for. Praise you, Jesus. Um, Marvin's brother in law um, has melanoma cancer. Um, you know, it's kind of went back and forth. We've been praying about this um, where. Um, you get an evil report, and then it's not so bad, and, you know, all this stuff going on. But anyhow, um, surgery is this Monday uh, regarding this cancer. And so let's just pray. For you are greater, Lord God. You are greater. I thank you, Lord God, that you honor the prayers of your saints. Lord God, you, you place uh, Marvin in this situation. He would be your witness to your truth, Lord Jesus, that he can exhort and encourage this brother-in-law to speak life. We just rip out the rug from this melanoma cancer. You have no place in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. We stunt your growth in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall not continue. We pray for a positive report. We align with the positive word. Greater are you, O Lord God. We just ask that you would just go inside and do your heavenly surgery, Lord Jesus. And throughout this process, that it be unto salvation. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, Leslie had said um, that she had a rapture dream last night, and she doesn't remember much of it. Um, but uh, basically, you know, it, it was kind of a fearful thing. Um, but it's like the Lord was communicating, do not be afraid, and just stand there and wait. And that all would be well and good. Um, and she said, I went to turn and get my family and was told not to do that. Just to stand there and wait and all would be well, good and perfect. So um, that that's so true. Um, we just, we have to turn, turn everyone over. <laughs> um, we have to work on our own, you know, it's like the virgins with the lamps. We have to trim our own wicks. We have to make sure we have the oil and stuff. And we can, our lamp will help others see and point the way, but ultimately they have to, um, you know, do the, do the legwork and stuff. So um, we just have to be at a place of peace, uh, knowing that, Having done, therefore, all things, we just stand. So, um, yep, that's what we got to do. So I just thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Um, you know, I, I talked about the relationship stuff earlier. Um, uh, Marvin's specifically asking uh, prayer concerning his wife. And I know that Bill has continued to... Uh, ask for prayer uh, regarding his relationship as well. Um, so, you know, and everybody else, uh, just, you know, blanket prayer. Um, Lord Jesus, we just uh, thank you, Lord God. We thank you for your uh, picture of what marriage is, through your, your most uh, holy trinity. Lord, 
We do not receive uh, the attacks of the enemy, especially those things that uh, war on on our mates, on, on their minds, and uh, and wear them down. Uh, for ourselves included, Lord Jesus, we, we ask for exposure of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, for uh, any any negative thoughts that we may have aligned with or agreed with or uh, subtle curses uh, that we may not have realized uh, where, you know, you never cook anything good or you, 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 you this way, you, you that way. We just ask for your forgiveness, Lord Jesus. We just repent for using this uh, thing as a weapon, Lord God. Instead, we just repent and we just ask for your forgiveness, Lord God. Rebecca, Rebecca, any anything that we have done to try and control another, uh, and to try and put them in a box, so we just submit that all to you, Lord God. We ask, Lord Jesus, we give you permission to come into our our relationship, at, whether it's it's there or it's barely hanging on, uh, Lord God. We we invite you in. And we just ask that you would just come in and heal any woundings, expose the darkness. We declare any arrows uh, shot against uh, our relationships to fall void and powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. That no weapon formed against us shall prosper. For we stand, we stand in you, Lord God. We have authority. Uh, we, we smash those serpents and scorpions. Uh, they have nothing on us, Lord God. We shelter ourselves in you under the banner of the Most High God. And as we, as we so do that, we thank you, Lord God, that as emissary of the King, that we are afforded favor and honor uh, in your name, Lord Jesus, and that that extend out in covering over our relationships, over those that we care for so dearly. So we just ask that you just continue to shower that mercy, that graciousness to cover over those whom we love, Lord Jesus. We declare that they think for themselves. Memera took it that the enemy's voices go as not. And that they desire excellence. Humility and give and take. I thank you, Lord God, that for the revelation of the, it's always greener on the other side, uh, that they will see through relationships of friends, of, of other family that they will see that uh, it's nothing but to and fro, and it just divides, but that they will look and see that, that the heart just needs to be in it to endure and to stand and to make it work. So I thank you, Lord God, that you would just bless these on the, the side that, that's praying and seeking, Lord God, and, and just stretching out to want to wanna make things work that that love just flow, that that love flow. So indeed we do uh, ask for exposure of any blockages, any hindrances, anything that would attempt to harm the relationship, whether it be a soul tie or... Uh, Anything done in the relationship along the way uh, that uh, just it needs applied with your blood, Lord Jesus, that those things would be revealed, uh, whether it's a dream and, and talking, whatever it is, Lord God, that it be revealed in your mighty name, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. Okay, let's pray for Jim. <laughs> Praise you, Jesus. I just thank and praise you, Lord God. Ah, before I pray for Jim, you know what? Let's pray for Jim's friend. I've lost my prayer list here. 
Um, his friend Alan contracted flesh-eating bacteria and has had his leg amputated twice. Um, you know, they lost his vital signs temporarily in surgery, and he had a near-death experience. Um, very, very serious um, thing with this. And as I prayed um, earlier in the week, um, I shared with Jim that I just, the moment I started to pray, I just got an impression of, you know, something Masonic. Um, if there's any Masonic curse, um, I asked him to please pray and uh, for his friend to pray um, if, if, and just seek the Lord if there is any potential for a Masonic tie. Um, if you go on the forum and you go under the search and type Masonic, um, there's uh, some stuff on Masonic um, that you can go through and actually read some of the, you know, when you are established in the Masonic order, um, they, ha they actually have you recite these things. You're actually heaping the curses upon yourself. And, and you know with generationally, that uh, you may know nothing about them, but people in your fa in your in your family line, um, you know, if you go three and four generations, that's like if if you look on both sides of the family and how many people that touches, that's like thirty some people. So um, you know, something to to consider. Um, the Masonic stuff has some very severe curses. Um, I remember one of them is something about, you know, if you ever, you know, something about your bowels ripped out and all this kind of stuff. And, and I've seriously, um, people that, um, you know, had, had the understanding, oh my gosh, this Masonic thing, but before, uh, they really, um, you know, they were breaking the curses and everything, but I, I just, I mean, I, I can't know and I can't judge, but they died a death that kind of mirrored that kind of curse. And so I do not understand, um, you know, unless they had fear. Um, if, if, if you don't, uh, you know, you can, you can say a prayer think you mean it, but if you have that underlying fear, um, then fear is, this, is like the doorkeeper that you need to break through before you can get to what's actually, you know, that, that terrible curse. So, um, you know, I, I don't know, but we will just pray for um, Alan and I, James and him can discern uh, whether it is indeed anything Masonically, um, you know, it's my job just, you know, to share what I get, and, you know, I'm not saying I, I, I'm, like, right all the time, but anyhow, uh, we pray for Alan, we just curse this uh, flesh-eating bacteria in the mighty name of Jesus, the name of Jesus is powerful, I don't care how ugly or how awful this thing is. At the name of Jesus, everything must be silent. Must bow the knee. Must obey. And that's what we speak to this flesh-eating bacteria on Alan's body. And we, we also address fear in the mighty name of Jesus. I am feeling that there is some fear. Obviously, I mean, it's, it's a dramatically quick moving thing. But Jesus is more powerful. So we are going to cling. We are going to cling to the mightiness of Jesus, the power of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. Give him the Bible promise uh, on power to boost him up. 
We speak your power, Lord Jesus, your power to infiltrate uh, at, at every, at the basis of his DNA to fight this thing. Meba, we just bind up this curse in the mighty name of Jesus. We command it to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment right now in the name of Jesus. We just cut you off. We speak life to the skin. Healing and restoration. We speak healthy, healthy skin. Disease resistant skin. Strength to that skin. I think there's a lot more prayer to go along with that, but I heard curse. So whether it's Masonic or not, I don't know, but I heard curse. Um, so um, I pray with what I know. Lord Jesus, I just trust you. I trust you. For you're greater, Lord God. You're greater. Fear has no place. No place. And we'll pray for Jim now. I thank you, Lord God. We speak for proper functioning. Then his mind, that his nervous system, that everything communicate. I speak health and life to his flesh. Refreshing. Oh, oh my goodness. They're refreshing. <laughs> Speak life into the to the muscles. I speak that you body will not fight yourself. Do not fight yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak peace deep down, even into the bone. The peace of Jesus. The peace of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Like I always say, whew, I get some, whew, got some peace off of that, James. Thank you. Um. All right. In, you know, I don't, I don't know if if I'm missing prayers or whatever, but let's just end this. Pray for praying for peace, uh, Jerusalem. Lord God, we just thank and praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We disagree. That all things go well in Jerusalem. We thank you, Lord God, that it is your place. It is holy unto you. It is yours. We pray over all the leadership in that country. And uh, we just thank you, Lord God that you reach out, you extend your truth. We ask, Lord God, that your your gospel and the fulfillment of all that Jesus is be made known throughout your holy city. We just speak strength to uh, the military, to the Israelis, we declare uh, your word is true. We declare your word is is ever faithful, and that it will go forth, and and, and in all things. There's there's so many um, uh, things yet to come, 
but we know that uh, that uh, Israel will triumph uh, because it says so in the word. Um, God aside with the word and not with um, all of the hyenas, if you will, uh, starting to surround uh, the holy city and the, whole, the holy Israel. Um, so we just align with, with God's truth and uh, just have mercy. Have mercy on America. Um, have mercy on the UK, have mercy on Australia, wherever you are, uh -huh. just plead his mercy. We just thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. And we just ask that you would just dispatch us out this week, that you would grow us in our giftings and help us to be light and truth to the hurting world around us. Thank you for joining, and until we do this again, um, uh, go to uh, hearinggod.proboards.com. Um, you, you can even be anonymous if you want to. Uh, you can sign in as a guest. Um, but as you know, it's always nice uh, if the Lord has shared some awesome things with you that you will. Uh, multiply that for many to hear um, which reminds me I do have uh, a word that the Lord gave to a user Ron Johnson on um, the forum under the prophetic section I will read that as we part and he, and he shares, it is time, it is time to rise and shine. The glory of God arises in thee. It is time to manifest what I've called you to be. Be strong in the Lord and the power of my might. Continue to stand and fight the good fight. A minister of my gospel, I've called you to be. Let my love flow forth from thee. So, do it. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you for sharing, and um, have an awesome weeks ahead.